Securing the skies has been a primary concern in Ukraine since Russia's invasion began. And for NATO countries bordering Ukraine and Russia, it is a job that is shared. Fighter pilots from Italy, Germany, the United States and others rotate through countries on the alliance eastern's flank to keep constant watch for any threat crossing into the NATO airspace. V VOA Pentagon correspondents Carla Bubb caught up with members of the Italian Air Force as they practiced how to intercept threats entering Romania. An Italian Eurofighter patrols the skies near Romania's border with Ukraine. Italian Colonel Michele Morelli tells us his 150-man team arrived at this Romanian airbase for one mission. They were basically here to protect Romanian airspace uh, from any type of threats that might be out there. They're part of a massive NATO-enhanced air policing operation, created in direct response to Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea in 2014. It's Russia may say that this is provocative, but NATO says it's deterrence. Of course it's deterrence. We are, not, we are not here to fight any war. They serve as a sort of collective shield across NATO airspace. If somebody comes to us, they cannot just expect a single country to face that threat, but a huge organization like NATO with a lot of fighters, a lot of pilots knowing each other and be ready to, to protect the country. Aircraft travel fast. An average airliner slower than a fighter jet still travels about 11 kilometers per minute. So a team of two jets are always on high alert here for potential intercepts and must be able to get airborne in less than 15 minutes. To test their speed, Morelli and the Italians scramble. Gotta go. It's called a T-scramble drill, a race to get cleared for takeoff and up in the air at any moment, day or night. makes it look easy. And now, with Russia's further aggression in Ukraine, defense analysts say pilots like Morelli have become a vital addition to NATO's eastern flank. There's also anticipation of a Russian military offensive at some point um, in the coming weeks. Some uh, already designate that this offensive may have been on the way. And so these NATO pilots are going to watch for Russian Air Force activity. Morelli's team took just 11 minutes to take off, but he says they will be back at it in a few days, eager to race the clock again, knowing every second would count should a real threat enter NATO skies. Carla Bab, VOA News, Mihail Kolganichianu Air Base, Romania.